<sighs> well, hello. You're all back, I see. Last time, I was choking on the fact that I was talking way too much. <sighs> oh. Oh. Still out of breath. Ugh. Anyway, today we're going to go to the first bonfire, and then I'm going to call the quits for today. Um, but I don't want to equip anything. I think I might as well equip these. This will be good for a bit. I'm going to show you where to find the treasures in the upcoming area. This is a walkthrough, so if you're going to complain about spoilers, take a hike. Take a hike like this guy. There's a guy up there who will come down relatively fast after entering the fray, so be careful. Uh, these guys are much easier than <laughs> they seem. See? Um, if you are a warrior, don't worry. If, uh, um, uh, last video, by the way, I showed you how to scavenge some things, like this fancy anti-fire shield. The Dragon Crest, if you wish. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take this guy. Let's lure him away, because we don't want to get firebombed. We don't want to get firebombed. And I think I should stop parrying, because that's going to get old real fast. And I highly doubt anyone wants to see something that gets old. It's all the last I'm dead. You will find a few of those in this area. Already picked up quite a few, as you may have seen in my inventory. So you can jump over here. One thing about jumping that I will explain Licky Split. This is an interesting ring. Um, if you die, you don't lose any souls or humanity. It's not that great. If you're a decent player, it's not that great. It only works once. Uh, they're in a limited amount to what I remember, so they're really not worth the effort. There are better rings you can equip. Don't forget about backstabbing. Do not press anything but the light attack. Stand at the right angle and press the light attack button. Tap it, preferably, and you will backstab. Lots of damage. Four times regular damage, I think. Repost is also four times, but then a little bit extra. Oh, God! Breathe, breathe, breathe. There are better rings than the Ring of Sacrifice. <sighs> I am in the way of the White Covenant. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of that at some point. God damn it! I'm. <sighs> Why am I so good at parrying all of a sudden? I was rubbish with this a moment ago. That guy will hit you hard. Don't forget that if you enter new terrain, a, a good word of advice is to always have your shield up, just in case. Just in case. Like I said, at the weapon side of the enemy, your chances of backstabbing are greater. Ooh, a hollow warrior helmet. Well, I am in a 25% one. It adds poise, and I'm not really dealing with any magical. Might as well. Play. It's a little bit heavier, though. How heavy is it? It's a little bit heavier. Words, 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 using my words, words, words. Here is a soul of 200 souls. It's not that great. Oh, I almost forgot. The other soul I picked up next to the dragon, this is 2,000. This, I think, is 1,000. This one is 800. They're not special, by the way. Uh, the 200 souls. Uh, soul of the Lost Undead, Large Soul of the Lost Undead. Large Soul of the Lost Undead gives you 400, by the way. You can sell those for 500 later on, so if you're especially interested in getting the best out of your items, don't use them. <clears throat> They're good for fluffing, and I like fluffing. Fluffing is great. Fluffing is fun. Fluff, 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 fluffity, fluff, fluff. Fluff, 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 Another soul. I mean, how loud is it? Sword short? Because I like the short sword just a little bit better. It's not stronger in the slightest, but it's just a few points. And I could use a weapon that actually kicks. What's the range like? Let me see, what's the range like? The range is, is a little shorter, but I guess I'll have to live with that until I can get a long sword or something. Yep, there's nothing else out here. Uh, the treasure's up there on that ledge. There's a few barrels to designate where it is, so if you're playing along with me right now, why are you playing along with me right now? Okay, these guys are, I think they're smart asses. You can just hit their hands and they'll go, whoopsie doodles. If you land on someone's head the, via a jump, you actually deal just a little bit of damage, which is why I just got hit. Um, here, rubbish. This is useless, but you can do something with it later that's really fucking great. 
Do 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 backstab. Do 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 parry repost. The frame rate should be up now because I think I'm done uploading. Uh, the fable uh, uh, part seven. Humanity, solid humanity, mind you, not a liquid humanity like you will sometimes. Beware of resignation. Why? There's no resignation there. Oh, something just. I guess those enemies didn't die after the fall or something. What? Wait, wait. That's that's lower on Deadberg. Oh wow, these maps are so interconnected. Sometimes it's just amazing. Is that? Yeah, that is lower on Deadberg. What a surprise! Are you not gonna drop a firebomb for me, kiddo? Too bad. Yes, just too bad. Here's a large soul. You lost on that. 400 souls if you use one. Uh, you can sell it for 500 later, but don't worry too much about it because you're not going to sell anything for a long time. You don't want to hold on to items, you can drop them in the item menu. Just go to the item you want to drop, select it, and use drop. You, uh, If there's a stride through it, you can't do it. I have it equipped, so I can't do it. You can't change order, which is cool. I never do that though. I don't like changing order, but yeah, you can drop items and then you can leave and they disappear. Um, you want to do that with a few items, because most things, most weapons, regular weapons, non-dragon weapons, or twinkling titanite weapons, they will only sell for 50 souls, not so much. That soul gate exists for no fucking reason whatsoever, because there's nothing behind it. Nothing special, at least. So yeah, you might notice I still have 10 Estus flasks. <laughs> because I am good at this game. Or, I'm better than most, I would say. Be wary of rolling. Curious how there's no one here. You would expect that to be a trap, but it's not. It's not. Um, okay. I want to see if I can get hit. Let's, let's see if I can do this. Damn it! So you can't get... I think if I dequipped and got below 25, I might get hit. There's a crossbowman up there. He'll shoot at you. Think about arrows. They home very slightly to the left and right, so be wary. Deflection equals stagger, just like a kick would. So it's a very good way to open up someone's guard. Stagger is a good point to get for a backstab, in case you didn't figure that one out. Spearmen over there! So those spearmen are your training for kicking, for the most part. Or for parries, if you want, because they're annoying, and you'll see why for a reason. If you don't pick up the dragon's shield because you don't have the uh, master key, you can pick up a better shield here, the wooden shield. It's not as good as the dragon shield in any way. Uh, actually it is. It actually is better for lightning and magic, even than the leather shield. But it has more physical defenses, as you can see, a lot more physical resistance. It's it's light. It's lighter. Uh, but, it, but it's a good alternative if you don't want to get the master key. Instead, would have killed the demon. And let's kill this douche McBag. There you go. Let's read some messages. Curses. Oh, so that's how they do this! They get someone cursed, and then he turns to stone, and they put it. Ah, oh, that's fancy McBooger Balls. That tells you that one. That's fancy. So these guys are spearmen, undead spearmen. They are annoying because they will block all the time. And you can aggravate them, like this. Or you can kick them. That's not a kick. That's not a kick! That's a kick. They will also turn really well, so you can't backstab You can't backstab them unless you stagger them or do a nifty roll trick. But they they will follow you really well, so don't think about that too much. Okay, let's go downstairs and uh, going up the downway sideways stairs. I heard guy behind this closet. He won't directly attack you, so don't worry all too much about getting hit. He's not big of a problem. They tend to drop their armor, these guys, and their weapon. And their shield, if they have a shield. So, they're worth grinding because the uh, hum the hollow shield is pretty good, all things considered. Oh, shut up about resignation. So this guy, you can uh, kill him. He drops a weapon that's pretty good. If you have a dex build, killing this guy is a, well, is, now, is a good way to go. You seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Except your fucking sword that I want. That's a one-off purchase item. Uh, repair powder. There are better alternatives that are cheaper. But if you really want to, go ahead. Flowing knives are pretty good, by the way.
The usefulness of the residence key is debatable. You use it to unlock a door with a special enchantment item <clears throat> that's not that great. And you use it to get the mage out. If you want to train magic, get this. If you want to get gold pine resin, go ahead. There's no other reason. Inventory management, and this is the best item he actually sells, in my opinion. In my opinion. In my sophisticated... Oh, the short bow! That's an even better item he sells. If you don't get... If you want to get 100% of physical resistance, he will sell the heather shield, which is pretty good. It's it's light and it's powerful, for what it is. <sighs> but I want to get the short bow, because that's the best. Um, chain armor, all provides poise. It's relatively light. So if you want to get some poise, there's the place to be. Stock up on a few Thank arrows. You kind. <laughs> so there's a few things about arrows and bows. Um, you need to you need to dual wield bows. I will get a sh crossbow just from drops. You need to equip it. You can equip two at any time. When you have a bow equipped, in your left hand, just tap the button, a uh, left button, or L1 if you happen to be a PlayStation user. Just just tap the light the block button. You can then aim with the block button, attack with this one. The triggers will switch you. You can equip two types of arrows, so you will switch between them. It, it's, it's nifty. I think I can have it in my other hand, actually, because I'm not intending to use my other hand, am I? This will lighten up my load as well. I need to go downstairs so I can pick up a crossbow, because there is a crossbow I can pick up. It's nifty enough. There you go. Attaboy. What? There you go. Don't forget you can slide down ladders. Tap B while standing still. Important trick. Very important. Very expensive, Douglas. Very expensive. Up here you will find nothing spectacular. Oh, well, there's an item, but there's nothing spectacular up here itself. Just a... Oh, it's the throwing knife. Huh? That's, that's pretty great, I guess. But, there is a ledge down here that is those into that room. You can't make this jump, but you can make it from the roof. No fall damage, which is great. You're gonna walk up here. That's where that uh, guy was. There's nothing here, but there's a crossbow across the corner. Crossbows! Crossbows have low requirements. Lower than the bow, which requires you to have 12 dexterity. Look at these statistics. You can dual wield a crossbow and you're done. Because even at 8 strength, dual wielding, you'll still have what you need. So, yeah. Crossbows! You cannot manually aim them. Dual wield them. Block does nothing. It just does this. I need to look this up what this does, actually. What, what does this do? You can still switch bolts. Oh, I need to equip bolts, actually. He just shoots. Is that it? He really just shoots? I just wasted a... a, a 30 soul bolt on a shot? Jeez, game, you're cruel. I hate you. There's only a few crossbows. They're not spectacular. They can't be manually aimed, which is why I like bows. So yeah, but this is what crossbows are great for, and this is why I like crossbows. This is why I don't hate crossbows, to put it in a better way. You can quick draw them. You can pull it out, shoot it, and go back. With bows, you have to pull back the string, and it just it just feels a, bit, a little bit slower. Um, you can go for a headshot, and I will show a headshot in, uh, in about 10 seconds. How, how about that? Crossbows are heavy, though, which is a bit of a trade-off. They're good if you... One thing about crossbows... Strength scaling and dexterity scaling. No scaling. Crossbows do not scale with your statistics, so they will always do the same damage if you use the same crossbow and the same bolt. So don't expect anything fancy. You can also use the attack button with a, with a bow, because you cannot use a bow unless you do wield, so yeah, pretty much go there automatically. So this guy, well, if you aim for the head, be wary that the, bow, that the arrow goes a little bit to the left. Uh, headshots deal 20% more damage and will cause an enemy to stagger. Pretty nifty. It's a good way to save out a few uh, arrows. 
don't want to kill them. I actually want to get this bonfire up and running first. There you go. Um. Do I want to do this? I think I might as well. There are a few more tips I want to give you guys before I leave you off into the wild unknown for a while. <coughs> because this is the last part I'm going to do of this particular... Oh, God. Oh, the acid. Oh, my belly. Ugh. I'm just running out of oxygen, you know. It's kind of hard to talk without oxygen. Um, if you're going to go over there, run. But there's a thing about running. There's a guy right there. Down there is a knight. And you don't want to fight him. I will show you how to fight the knight. And I will show you how to bypass the Taurus demon next time on the next part of this uh, walkthrough. Let me actually give this a plus one because it explains something to me. And let me write down a message. And if you find this message... Give it a plus one for me, kids! I don't care, actually. This is where you will find summon signs. You don't see any summon signs right now, because I'm not human. And if you're not human, you can't... Yeah. So this is how you write. You can write things, and if they have little stars, you can pick an object. What do I want to put down? What do I want to do? Imminent hints. Yeah. Yeah, if you find that one, give it a vote for me. I don't care which one you pick. If you find this walkthrough helpful, then give it a plus. If you don't, then... You can have a certain amount, by the way, per character writing. The writing on the wall. Um, you can't summon... Let yourself be summoned right now. You need to get a special item for that. But I will show co-op next time. Maybe. After the Taurus demon. After I sneak past the Taurus demon and say, Fuck you! To him. Hope this was useful and hope you enjoyed. I will now rest at this bonfire. I still have not low- I have leveled up a little bit, but that's it. I don't even have any spells. Do I? No, I don't. I don't have any, or else I would get it soon. I'm tired. See you guys next time. I'll tell you more about bosses and the lot next time. Bye-bye. I am saluting you multiple times.